Well, um, we have this question here, question 5.1. The question says, uh, given a sign of 16 degrees equal to P, determine the following in terms of uh, P without using a calculator. So I'm going to write the question here, um, 5.1. Uh, we have like sign of 16 degrees equal to P, okay? Then we need to find um, uh, the value of sine of uh, 196 degrees. What's that equal to? All right. Um, we, we do know that sine of uh, 180 degrees plus theta, this is equivalent to uh, negative sine theta. How do you know that? Um, okay, you can memorize the formula or you can just draw a trig circle for sine, for instance. We'll just try to draw uh, something like that. Okay, uh, we do know that sine is uh, positive only uh, in the first and second quadrants. Okay, and it's negative on the third and fourth quadrants. Now, uh, the, the values are like zero degrees here, 90 degrees there, 180, okay, 270, and then 360. Now, when they said uh, 180 plus theta, so because 180 is over here, so 180 plus theta, it means we are in this quadrant, okay, where sine is negative. Reason why, when we reduce sine of 180 degrees plus theta, this is equivalent to negative sine theta. So, therefore, uh, we can write, instead of us writing sine of 196, can write sine of 180 degrees plus uh, 16 because 180 degrees plus 16, okay, this sum here is equal to uh, 196. Oh, this is like 196. Okay, so uh, and then and then this is equivalent to say negative sine of uh, 16 degrees, and then sine of 16 degrees is just p. So the answer is negative p. So say therefore. A sign of 196 degrees is equivalent to negative P. That's its value. Okay. And then uh, we have like another question here, 5.1.2. Um, the question says uh, cos 16 degrees. So I'm going to say here, uh, we need to find the value of cos 16 degrees. Okay. Um, again, um, uh, because I'm right here, let's first draw, I, want, I prefer to draw a triangle over here, like a right angle triangle. Um, so if the angle is here, okay, that's the angle uh, 16 degrees, 16 degrees there. And then uh, it is said that, it is given that sign of, uh, P, excuse me, sine of 16 degrees equal to P. So sine of 16 degrees is equal to P. This is what is given. So um, we do know that the sine function, sine of the angle is equal to uh, opposite side over uh, hypotenuse, okay? So this is opposite and that's hypotenuse. Then uh, we can then write that uh, sine of uh, 16 degrees being equal to P, P has like, it, it, it has a denominator here of one, okay? So we can assume that uh, the opposite side is P, when the sine that opposite, opposite side is P, and then the hypotenuse is just one. Then by the help of the Pythagorean theorem, we can find the adjacent side of this triangle. So we can say, uh, uh, we know that Pythagoras says what uh, r squared equal to x squared plus y squared, right? Now, this is like one, one is r, the hypotenuse, equal to um, x squared plus uh, p squared. So we can find x if I move p over, so it's going to be one minus p squared equal to r x squared. And then uh, let's just move my body up there. So this will be uh, that makes that x then will be square root of uh, 1 minus p squared. So if I square root both sides, okay, you can square root both sides in order to find x. The square root there, why? Because uh, the square root will cancel uh, the power of 2. So it will be uh, x 
it will mean x equal to square root of one minus p squared. So over here, we can just write square root of one minus p squared. That's the value of the adjacent side. Then uh, because I'm looking for cause of uh, cause of 16 degrees, so uh, it is said that cause of 16, cause of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, okay? Uh, the idea was to find first all the sides of the triangle, okay? Then we can start answering this question. Uh, so cause of theta will be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So this will be a cause of 16 degrees now, will be then adjacent side is uh, P, excuse me, is uh, one minus, square root of one minus p squared, okay, over hypotenuse, which is one. So over one, so we can just say it's just that. Okay, so that's a uh, cause of 16 degrees. Now, uh, we did question 5.1, um, thank you.